Hey what's up guys so we are here in the 10th and the final video of the series and we are just going to implement uh, mongoose paginate version 2 package and we'll paginate our queries uh, while fetching our post from the server so let's go and get started and before getting into into that part I made a mistake in my previous video and that I just realized so since when we are validating our users over here we removed try and catch so that we shouldn't do at all and then we'll validate so instead of that we'll do a little bit of modification so instead of this error throwing out we'll throw Apollo error and here also we'll just throw our Apollo error not Apollo error actually that will be our standard error so in a catch block we'll simply throw new Apollo error dot message so yes now in a catch that's fine and here also we'll use Apollo error directly we'll throw out our error and then we have the error message and that's it and we'll try and catch that inside our try catch so this is basically we are doing with this authentication and we're directly throwing out error apollo error and in that too the same thing we are gonna directly throw our apollo error Here too, we are gonna throw our Apollo error. So all the functions are handled properly. And this would do a just job. Let's quickly go and test it out. So now authenticate user. I'm gonna make some error issues. So the username and the password becomes invalid and I'm gonna authenticate that user password should have at least character this much. And this gives me the message key over here. So earlier we are accessing it from there and let me make this nandy mandy to also invalid so if I authenticate now we can see two errors occurred and we can get that things over here so instead of this Apollo error we'll send our throw new standard error object and rest of the thing we'll pass we'll throw using this Apollo error here with these messages and with this here we can do that so now if I go ahead and authenticate the user now we can see two errors occurred we still have that here okay new error let me save it I will pass directly our error object inside that and let's see what happens also you can pass other stuff but let me authenticate the user server cannot be reached and server is not ready to validation error two errors occurred inside that we can get that okay so let me quickly replace what I'm thinking so this everything is fine over here if anything goes wrong but we'll validate this schema outside this off and then this will throw our error so before getting into this try catch block we will validate our schema and in the same way we'll validate before getting into try catch block so just before that try catch block we'll handle that errors and now we can go ahead and refresh that and authenticate user now we are getting all the errors inside that part if I go ahead and create our register user now we have a lot of errors inside that email is required that wasn't provided and then we have last name as well also so it is giving me the array of that part so last name first name all the errors are we are getting here and we can handle it on the front end using JSON parse 
JSON parser because these are nothing but the JSON data. So this was the thing which I wanted to validate. And even we are just gonna go into a post schema. And while creating that, before getting into the try catch, and this would just do the find. And even here, this will just do the find. So that's basically it for this one. And now we are gonna look into that whatever we have promised. So for that, we'll go to this for URL called npmjs.org uh, com and here we look for a package called mongoose paginate dash v2 and this is my favorite personal favorite and the setup is very uh, very straightforward pretty simple so firstly we have to install it then we inside our schema we have to bring in that and then we have to just inject as a plugin to the schema so let's quickly do and do that so I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna get and open my integrated terminal I'm gonna paste that and this might take a moment to install that package and meanwhile in our models I'm gonna do that part two so I'm gonna import paginate -ter from mongoose paginate version 2 and now I'm going to inject that inside our schema. So let me quickly get rid of that terminal. And before that, when we are defining our post schema, we'll uh, post model, we'll inside a post schema, we'll inject as a plugin. So paginator is the plugin. And with that, we are now good to go with our models. And same if you want to go with the users list also, you can import it over here and then inject as a user but I'm not gonna do go do that you can do it on your own but what I'm gonna go do is gonna get into the graph QL and inside a resolver with a post as well as type definition with the post JS so these are type definitions and these are the resolver functions I'm gonna quickly shrink everything get post by ID get all the posts and this will be I mean, let's say for example we have a 10,000 post in our database so this will query all 10,000 records and this will take a lot of time as well as it will consume a lot of resource on the server so the best way is to fetch in batches and batches means like we can paginate like one two three and we can set it there so let's see in the action how we can paginate our model so I'm gonna into the post JS firstly we have to define a couple of fields so how we gonna know that what are the things that we can do so if you read the documentation properly this takes an option and on that model will paginate and here we can pass our custom queries if you want to pass and these are the options we are so let's say for example you want to paginate one and then paginate with the 10 limit so it will it will create all the records with a 10 divided by 10 and then it will automatically put it there and also it gives these type of fields the total docs by default and then limit and which page we are currently on next page is which what number and the previous page is what number that is all here so let me quickly increase then has next as previous page these will be boolean values if it is true or false it will give me the previous pages there or not so all sort of like pagination data whatever we have let me quickly show one of them so we'll go to google.com let's make test let's put test and we'll go in the bottom so next page and all the list of the pages will be there and if you want to these are the default by default that we'll be getting but if you want to change that those values too we can cr do that by creating custom labels and then we'll pass inside the options and we'll pass that option and for the custom query you can pass it over here even for the pagination stuff uh, like in our population stuff also if you want to populate it so inside the option you can simply pass that so for example inside populate we are passing it as an author and then we are leaning it off and limit is 10 I will pass those things here so now we are gonna let's go and see in the action so this will give some kind of 
uh, some kind of a schema so we have to set it up inside of playground uh, not inside of playground so let me quickly get rid of everything from here and let me quickly set it up or inside our just a second inside our this field so I'm gonna create a new query get posts by Uh, limit and page so I'm writing something sensible and this will take variable called page and this has to be an integer but it can be null so we don't want to like it can be null anyone can pass and we also want to accept a variable called limit and this will give me the list of something post paginator so this is another custom field which we are going to define and this won't be an array actually this will be an object so I'm going to define that post paginator post paginator and then it will be having our metadata so for example if we go to our sample mongoose page or inside the github documentation also we can go ahead and look into that so this will give some kind of result the docs then we have a total docs limit so we can do all sort of stuff but let me quickly before doing anything inside that we'll be having a post let me show you how it look the how the data looks like in this post so basically what I'm gonna do posts and this will be an area of posts so this is definitely gonna be there and that couldn't be null so this will be a post paginator but before touching anything inside our GraphQL I'm gonna create our Express Express route first and I'll show you what kind of data we can get so after this express middleware where we have applied that and I also forgot to add body parser middleware so I'm gonna import body parser from body parser and we'll apply that middleware I forgot that sorry about that guys so but it, it didn't have a lot of effect um, we'll be dealing with the JSON data, so this will formatting or everything inside the JSON format. And then I'm gonna create a new Express route. So basically, I'm gonna say app.get and let's say post. So this is our endpoint. Since we are using request, uh, since we are using Express, we have always liberty to use them. Response. And I just want to show you what we are gonna get from there and let me quickly copy and paste a snippet of code so what I'm gonna do inside inside all this thing I'm gonna create a sample pagination module so we have we already have that app uh, uh, that uh, app models so I'm gonna copy this we'll first extract our post model from our app models and now we're gonna look into that app model in order to access our pagination and for the custom labels I'm gonna simply go and copy this thing so for example if you want a custom quickly copy this part let's paste it so this is our custom model and uh, instead of item count it will be post count and we'll call it posts per page current page next page that's fine for us previous page pages count a cell number and then we have a metadata called paginator so next thing is I'm gonna copy this variables to I'm gonna paste that and we'll from the query we are gonna extract our 
uh, we are gonna extract our uh, page number as well as the uh, as well as the limit so equal to request dot query so we'll extract that from there and we'll pass that here if we have defined that page if that page is there otherwise take one and if limit is there otherwise take 10 and then we will use our post model in order to fetch this so this will take options till here part and since we have applied as a plugin we are always good to go with this so we have passed these options here and let me return response that's the JSON this is just a temporary thing which I'm gonna which I'm gonna do and this will take some time let posts equal to await this and let's see posts so now if I save it and our app should be running fine let's check inside our console this is running fine and now if I go to my this Google Chrome and let's go to application localhost 4000 slash post and now we are getting this post and currently we don't have any data inside our database so that's why we are not able to see any post so let me quickly log in one three four five six seven eight nine zero authenticate the user I think I'm getting some error variable email of required okay so I don't have any kind of query there so I'm gonna copy that query from our user authentication we want some token in order to create some seed data and we'll create that we have authentication token you know and now we'll use this token use this user in order to create some post so I'll set authorization and we'll pass our token here so this will be our bearer token and I'll create a post so from our post I am gonna grab everything real quickly create new post so we have these posts and inside that inside that query variables I'm gonna create a couple of things so instead of this for now I'll simply say title post1 content content of post1 okay so now I'm gonna quickly create a couple of posts and featured image for now I'm not gonna use that if you want to put it you can put it there create new post I got one post I got another post I got third post and I can keep on doing that and now if I go to this and reload that page and we have all three posts so one two three four five posts are there let me quickly create another post a couple of more so we are just filling inside inside our database and since everyone is having the same because I'm not updating it here okay so now if I reload we have we are on currently one page and limit is by 10 so at a single page we have 10 posts in our post and in paginator we have total 18 posts inside our per page and if I pass here query page equal to uh, page equal to 2 and limit equal to five so let's say if you want to display five posts per page I pass that and now we have a five post over here and now that paginator we can simply say that we have next previous all these values are we are fetching so basically we have to play around with this page as well as the limit variable so now I don't want to do it I don't want to do it in the rest API way so but we'll be using a lot of features from here 
and in a post resolver we have in type definition we have already created that thing and we will be needing that post so basically this is coming inside the post and that will be of an array of post but in a paginator will be an object which will be inside that so this is paginator data paginator schema post paginator and this post paginator will be of type paginator and in that paginator actually we'll call it post paginator mm. and we'll pass all those fields over here so we have post paginator has post count and this is an integer and this cannot be null per page we have that and then we have again this is an integer so we'll grab everything from here paste it and put it int the total post count will be there current page is there and teacher and based on these values we can apply uh, we have sl no so this is also integer type has previous and has next so this will be a boolean value this cannot be empty or we can yes we just need that I'm gonna copy it again next boolean and then prev and next so prev and next oops so it will give me the previous page so that's gonna be this and this next will be next oops so this is our post paginator and I'll call let's make it PP P paginator options and this will let me make it post labels I'm gonna copy this post labels and this should do our job and get all posts and we are just accessing that post paginator and now I'm gonna copy this one from here and inside that out query I'm going to paste it there asynchronously here and then we will simply pass that over here let me quickly save it and see if our server is running fine yes no issues with that and I'm going to create a new constant over here with the labels for the posts so from our index.js, I'm going to quickly copy this part. So these are the custom labels that we have defined over here. And since we will be needing our post model, so we will simply say post. From the context, we are extracting our post model here. And in our, in our index.js, I'm going to copy this custom label to here. So this is our post and then again I'm gonna copy this part too and then we'll return this out so return post so that's done for our this uh, whole stuff that we have created so my custom my custom post labels and then we have we are done with that So now let's go ahead and test it out in our GraphQL. So this will be this part. And I'm going to copy this whole thing. OK, and this will be really quick because I know we have spent a lot in creating these, uh, these APIs and all those stuff. So I'm going to put it a query, get posts paginated 
and we'll pass our page let's say for example page and we'll pass our limit that's let's make it five we want to get all those things so we have here paginator and we want has next has prev next page has prev page will prev we have next then we have sl and o total post count and a lot of like other stuff so whatever what else we do have per page we also do have that per page um, that's a lot of fields actually we do have that per page current l s and o has prev has next so these are all done current page we also need that and the page count also we need it page count and from all this current page we also do have that current page and let's see how much one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so s l n o basically this will be one two three four five four five six seven eight nine so we have nine fields one two three four five six seven eight nine so yes we have all them and now also <coughs> one thing is missing in this one that is like we we got everything inside our post but we have to populate that too uh, with our author field otherwise we are gonna get some error uh, we will run we will run into some kind of error so what I'm gonna do is simply gonna be inside our post uh, options uh, if we go to the docs we can pass that here and sort so we can pass out the queries also where we read that about author okay yes this one so we'll simply populate with author and start with inside our options otherwise we will run into that error because uh, we won't be able to have that and in sort by date that means a descending order so we'll simply say created at field not with the date and with that let's go ahead and create our pagination execute our pagination query so this is our paginator and we also want post and in that post we want author and within that author we want user uh, actually let me for now just push pull the username and you can access all sort of data so the title and the content and now this query looks something like this get post paginated and page is not defined this says page is not defined so let me quickly check if that page is not defined get post page is not defined yes the page is not defined just because we were taking it from this and now we are accepting those from here inside okay control shift chat this was and now we'll fetch those page as the, the limit from the arguments here and let's quickly run this one and now you can see cannot return of null label field prev so basically what is happening prev post paginator let's see of null is not defined and this is this can be null so we can get rid of these two so if we are on the last page then this will become null and if you're on the first page this will become null so 
we can and now if I run that we can we are getting all the post with the author and also the username is there and with that all these fields are also coming from the server so that's basically it about this and now we are just gonna run one more one and the last and the final so I'm gonna say simply get authenticated users post and we'll again pass our page int and we'll pass our limit int and this can be optional fields so if we don't pass it will automatically look for the first page and this will return our post pagination paginator input uh, output and from our we are just simply gonna create that resolver over here so I'm gonna copy that post paginator and after that I'm gonna just put it asynchronous task and put underscore comma and we'll look for page as well as the limit from there and also we're gonna access our post model and let's save it here and I'm gonna run everything here just like this one so I'm gonna copy that paste it over there and now we are just gonna write our query so basically whatever we are getting into the context we are getting authenticated user and we forgot to apply our authenticated users directive that we have created in the seventh or sixth video so we'll apply that directive and this will now from the user that ID will simply put that custom query so here let's say author set it to user dot underscore ID dot to a string and let's save it and now we'll get the authenticated users post so currently I have the authenticated users header this one and we will simply get authenticated users post and now we can see these are the posts created by Nandy Mandy so hence we are able to achieve most of this stuff and we are done and this project is finally completed so in the next series we will start looking how in the next video series we will start looking how we can consume these uh, GraphQL API queries and the mutations using Re uh, react.js something front-end framework like react.js and then after that I'm also gonna consume these rest uh, consume these graph GraphQL API's uh, GraphQL API and the queries and the mutations using Vue.js frameworks so stay tuned with my channel and happy coding I know this is very longest playlist which I have ever created I never wanted to do that but uh, this thing GraphQL always excited me I just want to learn and meanwhile while this learning process I did came across a lot of hardship and I read through the documentation and we are finally able to do all sort of stuff so thank you guys and hope you like my content please hit thumbs up subscribe and comment on my videos if you like it thank you guys bye bye